for sharing that, what you said. Yeah. You only mentioned about thoughts being around, and then mm -hmm. if you're feeling um, less than or limited or whatever, you're feeling yeah. lonely, and then a, a thought comes from somewhere and it engages. Is it do do those thoughts transcend? Do they sort of change as 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 the you see, thoughts don't do anything. No. They're just floating impressions. So are they always? They're always there. there. They're always there. However, the moment you feel a lack, they bombard you. Mm -hmm. They come into you. Mm -hmm. Now, immediately we own them, and you say, "I am thinking this. I am feeling this." Mm -hmm. In truth, you are not. But only a spiritually awakened person knows that, you see, which, which you are an awakened person, so you know this. Now, when you get those thoughts, when you get these feelings internal conflicts, say, oh, no, this is not who I am. These are thoughts. You take a deep breath and you say, I am. You don't have to do anything. Just, just, I am. That's it. Now, the moment you start doing that, you're becoming stronger. Right. And, it be and, and that strength, it's a process. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So it's the yeah. awareness and the recognition of the thoughts. Th yeah, that's right. And you recognize these are just thoughts. Mm -hmm. And all the feelings that you feel in your body, the emotional body, because you see, the moment you make a thought real, it's a feeling. That feeling, when you believe it to be reality, you accept it totally as real. Oh, of course it's real. Okay, the moment you say, of course it's real, it's an emotion. Okay, motion means motion of energy in the body, and it's a sensation in the body. Now, when it hits the body, the body actually is, is churning, moving, palpitating according to the intensity of that belief. And that's why we have psychosomatic illness, okay? Because if you believe it, it, it actually affects the body. So now you say, oh, of course this is real. But you see, it still isn't. It's just a movement that you have accepted as real. And this is where our, quote, responsibility has to come in. We are not the thoughts that bombard us. We are. We just are. And any feeling that comes, no matter how uh, excruciating or no matter what it is, the, a feeling that is negative is always a contradiction. It's always defeating the very purpose that you want. It's always defeating what you want most. You see? And always keep in touch, what is it that I want most? Be very, very real. You might not be able to make it, uh, to, to name it. You see? You see? What I want most, which is, the, which is the me wanting it, is really to feel very, very good, to feel this warmth, this love. Stop. I am this warmth, this love. It cannot be any other way. Even the fact that you want it means there's something in you. You see? But the me cannot experience it because it's too limited, it's too... It feels separate. So it automatically expands. You don't deny the me. It automatically expands the moment you accept whatever is happening. And you see, any limitation, a simply limitation, it has nothing to do with you. It's a limitation.